So in this video, I'm going to go over what about spatial, right? So in our gardener's plot example, gardeners are humans, plots are little areas on the ground. What if we wanted to actually capture the polygon? Conceptually use the other data in the database maybe to light up all the plots that are growing carrots or a certain type of berry or something like that. If we wanted to do some sort of mapping that way. Well, the reason I like PG Modeler uh, from the first time I used it, and that's been for a long time, is that it supported spatial out of the box. So what I'll, I'll do here is I'll just right click on the table, go new column, and I'm gonna add a column, I'm gonna call it Geom. And for the data types, get in here. There's geometry, that's the one I want. And it says, well, what kind of spatial type do you wanna be? And I wanna be a polygon. And it even supports SRIDs, which are really important. So a good local one for Surrey would be 26910, UTM Zone 10. It's used by a lot of municipalities. And that. Uh, not no, I'm going to leave this uh, as is. Sometimes we get the data in and go capture, capture the spatial data later. And so I'll let the model basically allow for that not to be filled in right away with the idea that we're going to capture it later. And so I'm going to save this in that, but it wants me to validate it. I'll go over, and I will. And then all of a sudden I get an error message. Hey, this column geom needs the post just extension, but it's not really in your model. Now, technically it's, it's installed, right? So my database demo is already up and running and it's already got the extension in there and that. And so, but I'll just let it apply its fixes and then we'll, and I'll save the file. Did a bunch of stuff. And the question is, did anything change? But if I actually go sneak over here, ooh. It added the extension. Now, the one thing is, uh, because I already have it installed, this will probably throw an error if I run the SQL script. So I'm just going to maybe go right click, go properties, and I'll say, hey, disable the SQL code. And I'll go apply, and I'll go yes in that. But you may, but then what it did is it, hey, it knocked out my column. It says, well, you don't have the extension and stuff like that. So <laughs> what I'll do is I'll just right click on this column properties and re-enable that SQL right and I'll go give it a second here yes so I don't want it to create the database because it's already created so you can see the strike through text on demo and I don't need it to create the extension because the extension is already created now I can do this in the GUI or do it in the file later so what I'll do now is uh, Besides, I'll save this, and I can try to validate. It may complain. I just gotta double check. Yeah, leave post just. I'm aware that if it's not in the database, I'm gonna have problems, uh, and that. But mine has it. I still want this geometry column, so I'm going to export it. So over here, export SQL file, and then I will save this, and I will call it. I'll overwrite this file here. Export, it's done, close. So I'm gonna double click on that file, we'll take a look in that. So if we scroll up to the top, we can see where it has in comments, uh, basically to create the database, but I said, hey, don't worry about it, it's already made, and that, and we're good. And we can see it here, actually make, you know, create the extension, but I said, hey, don't worry about it, it's already there, we're good, and that sort of thing. And I still have my geometry column, so I'm good to go. If if you don't catch that little uh, re-enabling the geometry column, you might see that it's commented out with the double hyphen. Just delete the hyphens and it'll be active again. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video is how easy you can do spatial data. But there are some you know things that come up in terms of exporting the SQL. And then you have to understand is, is my database created? Have I already installed the extension in the database and that? Uh, and otherwise, just make the appropriate decisions for how you have things set up, and good luck, all for now.